Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our our normal Monday night slot for a promo for the third episode in the second series of The Masked Cricketer. And, of course, your chance on a Tuesday evening, back at the regular time of 7 o'clock. Don't forget, back at regular time at 7 o'clock to ask The Mask. So please join us then, uh, both on Facebook Live and our YouTube channel. Did we tease you enough last week with our promo? You know, we went to Melbourne in Australia and the technology was superb better than we had when we went to Berkshire. I don't know what that says about Berkshire, but probably something, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, <laughs> can I offend Berkshire anymore? Can I offend the o Oxfordshire Cricket Association anymore? No. I, probably can. I probably can uh, going forward over you the will. next uh, few weeks. Um, but welcome uh, on a wet and miserable uh, Monday night. Got to be honest, another first for the Masked Cricketer tomorrow. Can't say too much about it. Um, you'll just have to tune in at seven and find out what new thing we're going to do for tomorrow. It's a good one, and you'd be silly to miss it. Um, obviously, I, I thoroughly enjoyed um, the banter that we had with, with uh, Charlotte last week. I thought it was a, an excellent episode. So uh, we thank uh, both Charlotte and Sir Andrew Strauss for being our first two Masked Cricketers of the new series. They were epic indeed so can we beat that i'm sure we can uh, looking forward to tomorrow kieran i know you're going to give us an update on some of our sponsors and some information and some thank yous as well that we must give yeah i am daryl definitely am i'm just uh, also for me a massive thank you to charlotte uh, and, and to sir andrew the week week one uh with with charlotte of course she she said that we helped get her through quarantine and she was delighted to see you on her screen daryl so uh so we obviously uh we're doing well there hopefully charlotte may be watching she might not be actually because it's probably very very early in the morning but yeah massive thank you to charlotte edwards it was a brilliant show last week uh, upwards of uh Two and a half thousand views now. The same with Sir Andrew Strauss uh, in week one. So uh, yeah, a big, big thank you. Yeah, I'd like to make uh, my normal weekly thank yous to um, uh, a couple of key individuals that are really supporting us um, throughout uh, these shows. Uh, the first of which is Paul Humphreys from Pop Activation. Uh, Paul Humphreys, of course, provided the the match shirts and uh, lots of other uh, sponsorship um, for our charity game back on the thirty first of August. So uh, a massive thank you. I don't know what that is. is that a heart, Daryl? Is it a little heart there to Paul Humphreys uh, from Pop Activation for his continued generous support? Another massive thank you to Graham Woodward from Grape Mines in Summertown. Uh, Graham, thank you again for providing the prizes. Um, the prize winner from a couple of weeks ago sent us a photograph of what you sent to her. Uh, she's thrilled with it. I think she's going to toast somebody with that at some stage over the next few weeks. So, uh, Graham, a my massive dad. thank you. That's my dad, actually. Good, good man. Good, good, good dad. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, yeah, Graham, a massive thank you. Um, we're really grateful for your support. Um, and uh, as we say, anybody that guesses correctly, the first guess uh, tomorrow, once again, will win a, a bottle of something very nice, white or red. Um, I'd also say a, a big big thank you to two other people that uh, we couldn't really be doing this without and it wouldn't be as, as successful without that is uh, Lindsay Penn uh, from the Facebook group we don't like cricket we love it uh, Lindsay is allowing us to bombard his group every week with uh, with all our uh, videos and uh, he approves them all um, really really grateful Lindsay for your support um, your, your group is going magnificently well nearly 5,000 members if we can uh, get to 5,000 members well we'll be uh, very, very excited. Uh, and also to Joe Cockcroft from uh, Sport Memories Oxfordshire. He is uh, running a, a, a Facebook group, Sport Memories Oxfordshire, which is a really good group to look into if you're an Oxfordshire sports fan. Uh, lots of clippings. Uh, I think there was one of Daryl on there today, which is uh, probably not worth looking at, but uh, most of them are good. Um, a lot of stuff that uh, has been written by yours truly you know, in the past, because I am quite old now. So, uh, yeah, a big thank you to Joe as well for allowing us to uh, to um, use your Facebook group to share what we do. Um, Daryl, back over to you, because we've got some big news about uh, a young man who's been doing something absolutely phenomenal for the Lord's Taverners over the last week or so. And uh, I know that we want to uh, give a big shout out to a, a, a really impressive, exceptional individual. Uh, it's it's inspirational, if I'm honest, k Dog. It's just a, an amazing story. It's an amazing trek that this this young man has done. Lloyd Scott has um, <laughs> scaled the three highest peaks in Scotland, England, and Wales, 
And uh, not just that, but in a deep sea diving outfit, which I understand actually weighs nine stone. Well, that's my body weight. So, um, <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> so, you know, well, half my body weight. Then, uh, but uh, I mean, that's a tremendous effort. I, I watched the, the scale of uh, Snowden today at the last few steps in abysmal weather after you've you've climbed so far uh, i mean it was just awe inspiring really and and doing it for the cause that of course the mass cricketers there for for the lords taverners which i will go on to in a little bit more but kieran i know you've got some facts and figures of of lloyd's amazing achievement absolutely so uh yeah he started this challenge back on uh, the 4th of october uh, scaling. Uh, the first one was the tallest of the three. Actually, the Ben Nevis was the first one he scaled. The weather was a bit better then. Um, but as you say, in a 130 pound deep sea diving suit, it's not going to be easy to do that. I couldn't climb it, you know, dressed in shorts and a t-shirt. He then went to Scaffold Pike uh, and climbed that one last week. And as you say, Daryl, today uh, he um, was outstanding today in those awful conditions. It was, you know, it almost looked like it was potentially sort of getting close to snowing there to be honest um he got to the top the, the money that he's raised for the laws tavern is, is phenomenal he's raised um, more than fifty thousand pounds in online and offline donations for what is a ma magnificent cause the laws tavern is what fantastic work they do for uh, disadvantaged disabled young people in the uk um through their wickets super ones the wonderful table cricket which i've really taken to i've had a a few looks at that game and uh, that looks like a great fun and uh, yeah Lloyd from us a massive congratulations we, we really uh, hope to uh, have you on the show um, hopefully next week um, and we'll talk uh, through by then hopefully you'll have recovered from all your aches and pains the only good thing about today Daryl that deep sea diving suit would have kept it dry because it was horrendous weather up there wasn't it Oh, absolutely. I've just had a message. We we might, if we stay on air long enough, we might just be patched into Lloyd. We might be. Oh, wow. So watch this space. I've just sent the link to our, our our reporter on the ground, Mervyn Ramsey. So <laughs> uh, we might we might get tuned in with Lloyd. But obviously, you know, it's it's something that we've been doing over a period of time now for um the Lords Taverners. And you can see it's see it scrolling down the bottom there. Uh, just giving page go and search the masked cricketer and you'll be able to donate and myself and kieran were talking earlier today actually about how many members we've got on the facebook group if everybody on that just gave two or three um you know pence pounds whatever um i think we might have lloyd on now let's have a look let's see if we got it there Wait. is Darren, you don't just throw this together, do you? Oh, yes, I do. You're lying. Boy, fantastic achievement. How are you feeling? Um, warm and dry. <laughs> I'll take the phone. With a beer? With a beer? Anything. Yeah. Sorry, it's yes. taking me a little bit by surprise. <laughs> Good evening. Have Hello. you had a beer with you? What was that? Sorry, have you are you having a well deserved drink? Um, yeah, having a wee dram at the moment. Yeah, it's uh, just nice to relax with the rest of the team that are, that are here with me. Yeah, it's good. Can, can you put into you know a, a, well, a few words, but your your feelings at the moment? What 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 are you feeling? A few repeatable words. That is, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I, I mean, obviously, a lot of it is um, a relief having done it. Um, safely but I've always said it isn't really about me it's it's about what we've done it for um, being able to raise money for those you know, for the kids to be able to uh, provide them with their uh, with the programs um, and also uh, it really really was a team effort I've never done anything before where I've had to rely on um, supporting um, quite as much I mean if you if you was here you know if you was, if you was with us you would see just what went on behind the scenes in terms of, you know, getting the equipment up, getting the camps up, taking the the, 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 the stuff down again. It was, um, you know, everyone's really, really worked like so hard. I know I was like the, the, the focal point, but it just wouldn't have been possible without their support. How many people did you have in the support staff, Lloyd? I, I know there's quite a few. Well, I had my brother, um, <laughs> uh, my two sons, uh, a nephew, 
um, one, two, three, four people from the taverners. There was a physio. Uh, Merv was the uh, go-to man at, at base camp. Um, my half came to um, to support me um, at, at Scaffold quite um, by surprise. So that was that was uh, very pleasant. Um, so it, yeah, it really, really was a, 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 a team effort. But, but not only that support, the support you've been getting from the, the wider public as well has just been amazing, hasn't it? And and the exposure. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't really had a great deal of um, time to, to, to look or to, to, to thank people um, because, because I've been, um, well, just so busy going up the mountain and coming down again. So we had one, we had one rest day, I think, on the Saturday. It turned out to be a rest day, but but it really was in there in case we had problems with um, the weather or injury or just really slow progress. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's been really, really full on for the last 10 days. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Kieran, I know you're busting to ask a question or two. Yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd, I was watching um, the, the final ascent today um, in, in what looks absolutely horrendous weather condition. Um, would you say that of the three that today was the toughest? It looks like it was weather-wise, certainly. Yeah, we, we said all, all th we've said all three of them had um, something about them. So Ben Nevis was pretty brutal. It was just big and long and, and, and it was very difficult to uh, just to get to the top and then you know, the final day I think we started at eight o'clock and we didn't get down the mountain until half past eight that evening so um, Scaffold Pike I, I called that spiteful um, it's not as tall as the other two but it was certainly the steepest and that really had a, 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 a real nasty kind of bite to it um, and, and yesterday Going up Snowdonia, it was lovely, beautiful day. Um, of all the inclines, it was probably the, the gentlest, um, although it was quite long. Uh, but then it it, it, it reared its, um, you know, the weather reared its ugly head, and the summit day today was, I said, vicious. It really was. Uh, I, I tried. I tried to get a move on, but a deep sea diving suit is not the easiest thing to actually try to hurry along like with. So. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, just just really relieved to get there. Not just for me, but for everybody else that was um, that was suffering in the conditions. Oh, and, and it looked almost to me like uh, as we were getting towards the top, it looked, it looked quite quite close to snowing. Actually, there was a bit of sleet in the air and uh, obviously blowing a gale as well. So uh, the conditions, uh, I guess, the only plus point about having the diving suit is it kept you dry, I suppose, did it? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it does get wet and it does absorb the moisture, so it, it did get even heavier. But we were just saying because I had to, um, had to lean in the suit to get my weight going forward up up the um, up the incline, but where the water was coming in, it was it was actually pooling in the in the in, inside the, the helmet. So um, you know I was never in danger of drowning, but um, yeah, I had my own little sort of reservoir inside in, inside the helmet slushing around. <laughs> little goldfish going round. I just got <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah. <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd, obviously we, we got to know you um, at the uh, at the charity game back in August um, for the first time. And for those that don't know Lloyd, Lloyd's the uh, the, the man that uh, I think his first claim to fame was uh, doing the London Marathon uh, in in that diving suit many years ago. Lloyd, although we haven't known you for for long, we're we're both really proud of you and what you've achieved. It's absolutely phenomenal what you've achieved. Um, and uh, I just hope that uh, the people that are watching tonight could go on to uh, the Lloyd uh, Scott uh, donate page uh, and donate some more. You've, you've raised some really good funds for a cause which, which has become close to our hearts as well. It, it's an unbelievable cause, isn't it? The Lord's tabs, you know, what they do with uh, the label with the disadvantaged youngsters. And that's why you've been doing this. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the money that's raised will actually make a real difference. You can see the difference. Uh, it makes to these uh, these children's lives, uh, and that's very very evident. Uh, and the other thing is, um, and I can't say too much more, but you know, more than um, you know, marathons and mountains and diving suits. I mean, the thing that means more to me than anything else is friendship, and the number of friends I've, I've gained um, both with me on on the mountain and and also. Um, 
you know, online as well, you know, it means more to me than all those than all those kind of um, achievements and, and, and accolades. So um, I think that's the main thing that um, that I'll come away with from from this particular experience. Well, I have to say, you look uh, you look remarkably well for somebody that's just completed uh, what is, um, if you don't mind me saying, a, a crazy challenge, absolutely bonkers. I hope next year when we have our uh, next charity game that that, that you'll be uh, in that slide. And maybe, although I know you're retiring from uh, from doing sort of crazy challenges in the suit, perhaps bring the suit with you so some people that, can, uh, that are at the game can have a look yes. at it. And uh, who knows, yes. maybe try it on. There's always that. Yeah, I'll keep it tucked in my glove compartment in the car. Yeah. I'll, I'll just slip it out and, uh, yeah, show it to everybody. <laughs> Not easily tra transferable round, is it? Like, <laughs> the transportation might be quite tricky. Um, I, I was going to come in there with a question, Lloyd. I mean, what what was the the idea behind the diving suit? I know you've done other things as well, but where, where did that come from? And uh, was it just a spur of the moment or did somebody mention it? Or, or, or no, what? no, no. I, previously, I've done expeditions to the South Pole, the North Pole. Um, I've done a marathon up Everest, um, run through Death Valley. So I've always got a, had a kind of um, extreme way of thinking. And I saw the London Marathon one year and, and saw the, the rhinos again. I just thought, you know, wow, that's a fantastic costume in my view. And then it just it just led me to, you know, my extreme way of thinking, what's the worst possible costume anyone could actually uh, think of and, and, and try and do the marathon in, and I came up with the I came up with the diving suit. No, no, no one's um, no one suggested otherwise. No one's no one's thought of anything else. Uh, so yeah, so it, it must be right up there. And, and nobody talked you out of it either. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, but no, that's 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 where it comes from. So no, nothing, um, nothing other than my um, extreme. Uh, imagination, I suppose, to come up with that idea. Brilliant. I mean, I know you've said this is your last one. Now, now you've done it. Is is it definitely going to be your last one? Do you well, think? I, I, haven't, I haven't got any. I haven't got any aspirations for doing um, any more. Really, I, I, I can't see how we can top what we've actually just done. You know, um, we've done the three peaks, which is probably the biggest challenge there is available or going around in, in the UK. You know, and I've done that in the diving suit. I've done it for you know for the most wonderful charity and got the most you know, fantastic, unbelievable support. So where we go to top that? Um, like I, I said to the others, you know, the first the first three Indiana Jones films and the first three Star Wars films were like great. The fourth ones weren't so good. So I, I don't I don't you know having done the three peaks, I don't want to come up with something else now, and it and it, and it goes you know. It goes alongside, I think it was a Phantom Menace and a, a bad sequel. A bad sequel. We don't want it. We don't want it. Here and I know you've gone. I was gonna say, have you ever tried have you ever tried opening the batting in a deep sea diving suit? Because that could be next. Yeah, here, you you, 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 here you go. You you're coming up with these ideas already, aren't you? Like, you know. So listen, I I have enough trouble opening the batting in my normal cricket stuff. <laughs> and and trying to take a quick single. You know, well, there's not much difference in it, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, I've been one, of the, up. one of the funny things now is I've actually done the three peaks in the deep sea diving suit, uh, but I've never run an all run four. So, there you go. <laughs> you <laughs> get a lot of stick about your running between the wickets, I have to say, on, on some of the groups. So, uh, uh, <laughs> is that just the point? <laughs> Probably, yes, I'm guessing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. Yeah, you, you're running time, between yeah. the wickets has been um, quite uh, uh, well. They've been having a go at it, go at it on uh, social media a little bit. Um, is is that fair? Um, I, I'm guessing it might be. Yeah, pe people think I'm either wearing the boots or I've got my ankle weights around my feet when I'm uh, when I go out to bat. But um, no, that's just me. <laughs> I do. Um, I, I mean, it's been a, a, it's been wonderful to to follow what you've been doing and and seeing some of the the videos and it's had a, a good lot of press attention, which has been brilliant. And and for you to join us tonight, we. we Humble, you know. If, if I had a cap on, I'd doff it. You know, if I had a glass, I'd raise a glass to you. I certainly would. 
Um, it's been an amazing achievement. You should be so proud of what you've done. It, it's just uh, inspirational for, for, for us lot, for, for sure. Kieran, I, I know you probably want to um, say a few things. They're all, they're all having a laugh and a joke here, so... Um, <laughs> No, Lloyd, um, no, from us, it, it, it puts um, our little show um, in, in the shade a bit, to be honest. We're, we're doing what we're doing. We, we love it, but um, compared with what, what you've been doing, it, I mean, it has oh, been. No, no, no. That's, you don't have to do anything like I'm doing to make it, you know, really <laughs> worthwhile. So and I, I don't I, I don't judge, you know, or, or anybody, anything that people are doing for, you know, for the benefit of others is... Yeah, it's fantastic by me and to be commended. So, crack on, guys, carry on your great work. Yeah, it's, it's been great fun. Anybody that's watching, I know there's a lot watching at the moment. If you want to donate to uh, Lloyd Scott Challenge, you just search Lloyd Scott Three Peaks Challenge, uh, and you will be taken to the, the page where you can donate to that amazing challenge. Lloyd, top stuff, absolutely brilliant. It was a pleasure watching. I had a day off work, I was uh, I was lying on the settee, you know, feet up watching only fools and horses. And, I, and then the, the notification came up, and I thought, no, I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to watch you get to the top. And it was brilliant. Well done, mate. Right, brilliant. Thanks so much, gents. Take care. Thank, thanks for joining us. Really yeah, thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Enjoy your bit. Think up. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Wow. Fantastic. We do just throw this together, but that was amazing. Look, you know, for all our amateur, within literally 30 seconds of getting the little message there from Mervyn, we were able to to link up with Lloyd. So um, I'm, I'm quite proud of that achievement. <laughs> it's a, live, live to North Wales. Amazing. Well, we, you know, it's just... We don't just throw yeah. this together. Oh, yes, we do. But we do it quite well sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes, though, guys. Only sometimes. Because we want to stay as amateur as we possibly can. So just to reiterate, um, there's that just giving page there. Uh, for the Mars Cricketer and obviously for Lloyd as well. Um, so, so deserved. I, I mean, I can't, I, just, I probably still can't put it into words. I, I've just been phenomenal watching it and it's it's just amazing what he's done. Uh, I can't imagine what he's gone through over the last 10 days. I really can't. So um, just remember, of course, um, tomorrow night, Facebook Live and the YouTube channel, seven o'clock back to our normal time. We might still be going overseas. I did say, I did say it's still a first for the Masked Cricketer. Mm -hmm. They'd be silly not to tune in, K-Dog, wouldn't they, at 7 they tomorrow? Would. They would, and we've already had a few guesses through, which I will announce tomorrow. But uh, we've had a couple of guesses through already, so that's interesting. Um, Mark Reed hasn't guessed yet. He normally does. Um, so he's been miles off most weeks, but uh, let's Come see on, if he... Let's see if he guesses right tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, please, please join us. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Although we've got the Facebook Live group, which is going really well. We've got 1,100 members. We're, we're really keen to get the uh, subscriptions up on YouTube as well because then you can watch back at your leisure uh, at any time that you want to. Thank you for everybody that's watching this evening. It's been quite a, quite a number on consecutive viewers again, which is pleasing for a promo. Um, if you want to donate to Lloyd Scott's cause, uh, please just Google Lloyd Scott Three Peaks Challenge. And also, uh, don't forget that we're doing it for the Laws Taverners as well. So if you want to make a donation to um, our little show, uh, go to Just Giving, search The Masked Cricketer. Uh, we've reset the target. We're looking to try and raise uh, £5,000. Uh, we're at 2622 at the moment. Can we get to £3,000 in the next uh, week or so? Let's hope so. As Daryl said, just a pound or two from everybody that's a member and we'll smash past the 3,000 mark. If you can donate just a few pounds towards what is a, a, an incredible charity uh, that does so much good work, um, we would be very, very grateful and so would the Laws Taverners. It's been so refreshing, hasn't it, Daryl, seeing um, seeing little crew and how he's taken to cricket uh, after the, uh, the bank holiday game when he saw uh, his uh, uh, cousin George for the first time playing cricket and uh, he's taken it on board and he's uh, he's loving his cricket and that's all what we're doing this for to try and raise awareness of what the tabs do and and uh, give sporting chances to these young uh, young lads and lasses that uh, have you know they're disadvantaged youngsters that have got disabilities and uh, anything we can do to raise that awareness uh, it's it's for a fantastic cause so please support it yeah I'm still still buzzing over that actually and 
just seeing little crew and some of the pictures. I, I, I know we've shared some of the social media stuff on Lloyd Scott, but I do suggest go into those YouTube clips because they are amazing. Uh, and and some of the words that Lloyd uses as well uh, in the interviews he's given is is brilliant. So uh, please do um, go on to that and, and have a look at the YouTube clips because they're, they're well worth it. So nothing more from you, K Dog. No, I think that's a twenty six minute promo, but that was well worth it, wasn't it? Getting Lloyd on there was uh, was fantastic. So uh, yeah, no, I think it leaves little more to say other than to join us tomorrow for what will be we think another fantastic mass cricketer. Uh, and we think you'll enjoy uh, enjoy what we're bringing you tomorrow. So uh, back to you, Daryl, to uh, to sort of close off. Yeah, another first. Don't forget, you've heard it here. So join us at seven. We look forward to seeing you there. To hashtag Ask the Mask. Stay safe. And good night. Bye.